Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so, what I'm gonna start doing on these videos is I'm gonna start doing more of like a vlog style, I guess you could say. So it's like, if I have to, I can get more into detail and use more time on one video instead of like cramming like three or four things into uh, one video. And uh, also if I have to, you know, go up to like 10 minutes for like one thing, uh, just to give y'all more of an understanding of how how the things are working and stuff like if there's more uh how would you say it? more compli complicated things to do and plus if i want to i could talk more if i have to you know so what i'm going to be doing on this video is deleting the cruise control out of the prelude all right so first thing going to do with the cruise control unplug this plug right here that's connected to it just kind of tuck that right there should be fine uh, follow the vacuum lines this one this vacuum line right here hold on can you all even see that yeah this vacuum line that goes into the into the fender right here I'm gonna disconnect that one later when I take off the bumper because that's what you gotta do you gotta take off the bumper and uh, take off the fender there's like a little like canister in there so right now we're just gonna leave that one hanging follow this one undo it and then that one should be over here the top one this one oh I'm, my bad y'all can't even see this so it's gonna be this top vacuum line right here. And then just take off. And you're gonna get rid of that. Just clean it up. Put that off to the side. So this is all disconnected. And this one doesn't connect to anything. I don't know, it's always been like that. My bad. Keep forgetting, move this camera. So yeah, like I said, take off that hose. Here's the hose here. Um, pull this hose out. It's not connected to anything. Well, at least mine never been connected to anything. It just goes like directly down into the frame. And then there's two 10, uh, I believe it's two, two 10 millimeter bolts. Disconnect the cable. Now got to go inside of the car to uh, disconnect. All right, so the cable you have to disconnect is that top cable right here. You see a flashlight on that cable right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that one right now. All right, so all you had to do was, uh, I don't know if the camera can see it. All I had to do was lift the cable and up and it just slides right out. Just like a throttle body. After you get that out, uh, what's gonna be in the firewall, see here's the, the cable I was talking about. So let's say it's in the pedal. You just pull up on it, on the wire. You pull up on it and just slide it right out. And so it's pretty easy. As you saw, it only took a few seconds. And so when it's in the firewall, this part will be in there. You just turn it uh, counterclockwise and pull out, and it comes right out. And here's the whole thing. So do what you want to do with, with this. Sell it. Here's the bolts. And like I said, I'm going to be getting to the part that's in inside the, the fender. Right here, this one, I'm gonna be getting rid of that one too. 
Also, this grommet comes out. I just had it laying there so I wouldn't forget. Yeah, that grommet comes out too. And so, now there's a hole in the firewall. But they do sell a cruise control delete uh, plug. So I'm going to be buying that uh, probably after I record this. Also, now you have uh, right here on the intake manifold, the hose is not there anymore. At the auto parts store, they sell the, the plugs, the, the delete plugs. They just, I don't know, it's just like a little rubber piece that you just slide on, right on. Comes in a, like a variety pack. And so you just slide it right on. So you wouldn't have any problems uh, with the leaking uh, intake manifold, any RPM problems or anything like that. So it makes it a lot easier to work on. You got the space wide open, especially if you're doing the belts, uh, working on the mount. So yeah, that's it for the cruise control delete. Alright, so other thing I'm going to be deleting real quick. Well, I deleted the resonator box. Uh, it had a vacuum line going through. I just, I don't know what I put in it. I just put some RTV sealant. So, uh, that's real easy to get out through here. I don't know why I didn't get rid of this already. And this, I forgot where it goes, but it's not needed anymore. Just need to unplug it. It's the, it's the IAB, that stands for, what is it? Like in, individual air butterfly, something like that. But it opens up the, the secondary valve and resonator once it it reaches a certain uh, pressure in the uh, in the intake manifold. I'm looking for the nut. It, hold on. If I get this off first, it should be easy. This is a 10 millimeter bolt. rid of that put it with cruise control stuff trash um the bracket holds on to the uh the air box but if it doesn't wiggle too much it should be fine to get rid of Yeah, I uh, shouldn't be getting any uh, check engine lights or anything. Just kind of just put that there. Just so it doesn't wiggle around looking awkward. I'll just leave it there for now until I finally decide what I'm going to do. So yeah, just that right there, frees up some space. This part of the video, I'm just gonna be talking like about the goals and stuff for uh, the Prelude. So if you don't wanna hear what I got to say, you can just go ahead and exit out the video now. Uh, but those of you that do wanna hear about the goals for this car. So this car, um, I still have the same goal I had for it. I had for it uh, back when I first got it. Uh, the way I see this car is like a Japanese muscle car. Now, there is other cars, like muscle cars, like actual muscle cars, Japanese muscle cars, such as the Skyline, the Subaru, I mean, not the Subaru, well, the Subaru kind of, the Supra, the Silva, um, stuff like that, you know? Oh, I got something on this camera. Yeah, um, but the way I see it, it's like a Honda muscle car because it is one of the heavier Hondas uh, that they make. The fifth generation was actually the heaviest Prelude. Uh, I forget the weight, it was around like 3,300 
33? Yeah, it was about like 3,300 3, pounds. Uh, the way I see it is like a Japanese muscle car. It is, from what I've heard, it is one of, it's, it's like a luxury car, you know? It's like, it's like getting a Maxima and a, like a G35 or what what's out now the Q50 something like that it's like choosing between the Maxima and like Q50 that makes sense I don't know hopefully it makes sense to y'all but anyway so it's one of Honda's like luxury cars without going into the Acura line you know what I'm saying uh, so my plans for this car the only things I plan on losing on this car is the things I've already taken out the power steering and the cruise control the cruise control has never worked so might as well delete and I always it's not like I'm gonna drive this car from like Houston to like I don't know like Colorado or well I mean that might happen but like from Houston to like California or something like that you know it's not something that I will ever actually need the cruise control on if anything the most driving I'll do is like to downtown and stuff like that you know and the speeds always vary from traffic, from a light. So it's not like I'm ever going to actually use that cruise control. But uh, I still want it to be something I can daily, every day. Um, when I mean daily, every day, I mean security has to be top notch. Uh, suspension, I'm not going to slam it or anything like that. I'm still going for like a, a, track, a track car type of thing of uh, thing you know of uh, suspension setup I mean so still rigid handling and stuff like that the way I see these Hondas and stuff I don't see them as a VIP car because the way it originated from what I know the way it originated in Japan was luxury rear-wheel drive cars An Acura is not luxury now you might have an Acura like slammed Acura and you have it all VIP and stuff I mean that's up to you you know but the way I like to do the cars or the way I see the cars is like sticking to the book you know what I'm saying and oh, damn. <laughs> there's a big 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 beetle, hold on. He just flew while I was filming. But anyways, the way I like to do it is like sticking to the book, you know? Uh, Honda was never like a VIP thing. Acura is never like a VIP thing. It was only like the, the Lexus, the Infinities, uh, things such as that, you know? Uh, well, except the Lexus IS 300. I've seen it VIP, and if you have a Lexus IS 300, don't ever VIP it, cause no, just don't, just don't. Drift it or drag it. But don't VIP, it. please, please. <laughs> but anyways, so the way I see these cars are like a true road race type of car. You know what I'm saying? Something that can handle the turns and everything, uh, have have some power to them, you know, to get out of those turns and stuff. Something that you can actually take on the street and do some damage. I'm not just talking about straight line. Well, you could do you could do drag too, you know, with the power uh, provided. But you can also make turns and stuff where other cars would just be sloppy and can't handle, you know. But yeah, uh, I got like off subject. Yeah, the way I see this prelude for my build, track suspension, still full interior, but uh, still full interior, but I'm gonna add some JDM stuff, uh, JDM exterior accessories, also um, interior accessories, uh, but the engine bay, you know, I'm gonna add some more power to it clean up the bay a little bit keep the heater though keep the heater the AC um, and just basically mod everything else you know but yeah I just wanted to give a little insight of what is to come on prelude on this build 
and uh, yeah, just let you guys know what's what's to come. You know, what's to kind of expect. But uh, I'm gonna start doing these videos like this now, like vlog style. I don't know how. It, I guess it's vlog style, but um, I, I wouldn't even call them episodes. You know. I think what this one is going to be called is like Project BB2 Prelude Number 2 Dash Cruise Control Delete. You know, give me some input of what you guys think about uh, this type of uh, this type of filming. You know, this type of video. And uh, I don't know. I'm still new to the YouTube scene. I guess you could say, but. Uh, I don't know, I'm just trying some things out, guys. I don't know, give me some input. Uh, comment below. Uh, like this video. Subscribe if you want to. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, alright?